Good morning, Tunes. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week, we're cleaning cages. Cleaning cages is a huge part of keeping reptiles and it is something that is done pretty often and it is time consuming. Future me here after cleaning tanks. I am very sweaty. This video turned into not the original plan for the video. So this video is not just a video of me cleaning a bunch of tanks. It is a how to clean your reptiles tanks. We're going to look at just normal naturalistic setups, how to clean those. And we're going to look at how to clean bioactive setups. And we're also going to look at me cleaning Zaz's tank because she destroyed it in one day. So we're gonna look at that too. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by iHeartGecko. So make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about how cool iHeartGecko's is and the awesome things that they make. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. And as far as the actual cleaning supplies that I use, I am still just using these. Uh, this is Eco Clean, and this is a coccidial disinfectant. So I literally just put a tiny amount of both of these into a spray bottle. This is the spray bottle that I've used for forever. I just mix these two together in a spray bottle full of water. These come from beardedragon.co. And the reason that I like these so much is that it's not like bleach or like the other veterinary grade disinfectants, which I'm not saying you shouldn't use those. But for me personally, these are just better because you don't have to wash out the whole tank after you use them. This one actually specifically says do not rinse. And this one just says to wipe it clean. So you don't have to rinse either of them out. They make cleaning tanks so much easier because it'd be very difficult to get a six foot tank and spray the whole thing clean once it's disinfected. Yeah, I just really like these two. There's obviously others that are available, but that's just what I use when I fully disinfect everything. And you obviously don't have to use the same brand that I use. There are so many different methods of doing this. Just make sure that whatever you're using, you follow the instructions. If they need to be watered down, definitely do that. And I highly suggest doing that in a spray bottle if you do need to dilute the cleaning supplies, just cause it's gonna make it a lot easier to clean your tank. Not sponsored, no affiliate, but if you are interested in these, I'll put a link down below so that you can easily find them as per usual. And besides that, you are going to need a rough sponge and or an old toothbrush. You may also need paper towels to wipe out the tank or to wipe out the glass, water, and maybe a pooper scooper of some sort and some trash bags. So to demonstrate just cleaning a normal naturalistic-ish tank, we are going to use Sterling's tank. And first things first, we just gotta take everything out. We will not be using chemicals in this tank to deep clean it. I will just be explaining how to do that. We're just going to be using basic soap and water. So if you are deep cleaning your tank, please take your animal out. Or if doing this is going to stress your animal out, please take your animal out. The thing I always do first is clean the water bowl and it's clean. And at this point, all I'm doing is pulling out the decorations so that I can put them into my sink. I also would like to note that this is not the only way to clean tanks. Do this however feels best for you and whatever works best for you in your situation. This is just how I do it. Off to the sink. Okay. And these are clean. I just blast these with hot water on a regular basis to keep them clean like this. However, if they get super, super dirty, you can also take a toothbrush and dish soap, which is what's in this little, I don't know if you can see that, um, dish soap and scrub them. Or you can even bake them in the oven again, just like when you very first sanitize them or boil them or whatever. For these giant six foot tanks, I am not cleaning out the soil every single month just because it doesn't need it because there's so much soil here that it doesn't become completely disgusting after a month. So what I do on a regular basis is try to just sort through as long as it's still fluffy and it doesn't smell weird. Your tank should never have weird smells like any kind of mildewy or moldy smells or just animal waste smells. Those aren't okay. The substrate here is fine. If there's poop and urates throughout the entire tank, 
and it is just completely flattened and it smells weird those are definitely signs that you need to change the substrate and he's coming out to see what's going on in his tank. It should be noted that many people will just kind of take all the food bowls, all the water bowls, all of the plastic things all out at once and sanitize them all at once. But I don't like to do that. Um, I literally go tank by tank because I don't know, just the idea of animals sharing water bowls. I don't know, that just kind of weirds me out. I don't know, I just like to keep everything in the tanks where they go. So I am aware that there is a more efficient way to do this. Little soap thing here is just Dawn dish soap. So again, this is just normal Dawn dish soap because the things in this tank aren't that soil. This is what I use just on a regular, normal basis. If you are deep cleaning your tank, then of course you can use something a little more aggressive, a different kind of cleaner that isn't just Dawn. But again, this is what I use on a regular basis. Dawn dish soap is what washes the dishes that we put our food on. So it's good enough to wash these plants. And that's it. We're just going to let these soak and move stuff around a little bit and make sure that the soap gets all over everything. These sponges are super fantastic. They're like super, super thin Dollar Tree sponges. But these work so well for cleaning these things. And they're much bigger than the surface area of a toothbrush. So you just want to scrub it up, dub everything and make sure when you're done that you thoroughly rinse everything off. You don't want any soap or disinfectant or whatever you're using to be left behind on the pieces. Some people will actually wait for it to completely dry as well before they put it back in the tank. I've never done that, never had an issue, but you can definitely do that if you are worried. And it's clean. And then I'm just putting everything back into the tank. If you are deep cleaning your tank, obviously you probably don't have substrate in your tank at this point. So at this point, you also want to disinfect the walls of the enclosure using whatever it is that you're using to do that. And you want to disinfect the floor and all of that jazz and put the substrate back in and then start to put all of the pieces back in. You are all up and in the way, sir. Would like to put this back here, please. Hello, I'm so sorry. You're just like all up and in the way. You're all up and in the way. Way to clean your glass. I guess you can just hang out there for a minute. We need to clean some glass. This can be done multiple different ways. Don't use things like Windex. I usually just use water unless I am full blown deep cleaning the entire tank, in which case you can use things like Wipeout or you can just use whatever cleaner you're using for the tank. But since I'm not full blown deep cleaning and changing substrate and all that, I'm just gonna use a paper towel and some water and clean this. Just make sure to wipe off whatever liquid you are using with a dry paper towel because that's going to prevent streakage and water spots. Also, if you have tanks that the glass comes out, like this, cleaning this glass becomes a whole lot easier because all you do is pop the doors out and clean them. It's clean! Look how clean that glass is. Beautiful. Also, obviously, if your snake doesn't like you being in his tank or doesn't like you constantly moving your hand in front of his face, as is completely reasonable, then probably don't do that. Look how clean your glass is. And it is clean. Super simple, but not always the fastest thing to do, especially if you have giant tanks. And the water from cleaning, this will be just wonderful. Actually, not too terrible. Mostly just dirt. The process is mostly going to be the same no matter what you're doing, but, but it will be a little bit different if you are cleaning out bioactive tanks. This tank has been set up bioactively for quite a long time. This is my Chinese cave geckos tank. You can see that this is shoved in here. Um, just because she has attempted to escape. Uh, so this is the way that we keep her. 
she came down here. Um, anyways, you don't really have to clean out bioactive tanks because the soils and stuff are bioactive. They take care of themselves. What you can do, not what you can do, what you need to do is clean out food bowls. And right here is her bathroom spot. Springtails and isopods usually leave the urates. So that does become your job, cleaning up urates. And obviously springtails are not gonna clean the glass either. I ended up replacing her small water dish with a bigger one just because the water wasn't lasting in the little one. Now we can do what I was saying before and we can simply take these out and clean them. I do not suggest doing this if you have a lizard that is going to escape. And then we're gonna take this pooper scooper, which is literally just like a, it came from Dollar Tree. One thing I also like to do in bioactive tanks as well when I clean them is just refresh the spring tails. I'm just gonna pour more of these in. And that is it. That is how I clean bioactive tanks. There you are. She's done with me. And of course, in addition to these deep cleanings of the tanks and the ornaments, you also just want to generally keep the tank clean. That means keeping those water dishes clean. That means cleaning out any waste or urates or shed, of course, shed as well. Make sure these are things that are being done whenever you see that they need to be done. This is what's going to help prevent your animal from getting sick. And just for the sake of a tank cleaning video, we have an update on Zaz's new six foot tank. As you can see, it is destroyed. Cilantro, eaten. Succulents, dug up. Aloe, completely uprooted. But she had fun in it. To clean this tank, we're literally just gonna pick stuff up and I'm gonna have to go buy more herbs for her to eat. Don't lick my toes. Stop. You're gonna scratch that glass up too? That's fun. Fun, 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 fun. That's you. And that's it. The tanks are clean. It's super easy cleaning reptile tanks, but it definitely is something that's time consuming and something that you have to do a lot. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this just super chill and easy video. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by iHeart Geckos. iHeart Geckos is a fantastic company that makes conversion kits for your reptiles. If you happen to have old glass plain tanks laying around and you want to turn those into awesome tanks for your frogs or geckos or even tarantulas, anything like that, that's what iHeart Geckos allows you to do for super cheap. You can take one of those conversion kits, silicone it into the tank, and now you have a really cool front opening tank for those animals and it took like five minutes. Super fast, super affordable, super easy. Make sure if you do happen to order one of these kits or other things, they have other things on their websites too, that you put Els Reptiles in the How Did You Hear About Us box. That way they know that you guys are coming from here. Thank you so much to iHeartGeckos for continuing to sponsor these videos. This week's Instagram shout out is here and this week's subscriber shout out is here. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and following and commenting and sharing and all that jazz. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Oh, my hair has all kinds of frizzed up since doing this. Okay. And as far as the actual... Blast me with light. Okay. Yeah, just pretend it's not pretty. Okay, that makes me nervous. Do this real quick, because this makes me real nervous.